Hello friends, in today's video, we are going to do a revision for your test. First of all, let us have some idea about the paper style of the test paper into which you can find four questions. The first question was answer the question and it is from the prose. Second question will also be there that is of course answer the following question but that is from the poetry which we already have discussed. You have got your syllabus for lesson 3 and 4, ok? Uh, if I talk about the next question, that will be do as directed, which we have discussed in our live class. Do follow that worksheet for that uh, transformation of the sentence, ok? Which we have discussed in the live classes. And if I talk about the next question, fourth question and last question, this will be of reading comprehension. It means a paragraph will be given to you and you will have to give the answer uh, of the question and unseen passage will be there. So this is some idea about the paper style of your test. Now let us uh, have some discussion of our question and answer so that you can find it easy to write your answers. Now one thing that I also want to tell is that you can use your own words into the answers. It is not necessary that whatever is being given in your worksheet that only you will have to write. You can use your own words for writing of the answers and uh, keep in mind one thing that uh, your if I talk about the board paper style and question answers are asked only for 8 marks ok. From the whole textbook answer the questions are asked only for the 8 marks. So, it means that each question has two marks, four questions will be given to you. So uh, how to write, what to write, no doubt you can use your own words into the answers. But at the same time, the length of the answer also matters. By adding your own words, by adding your own ideas, you can make your answers lengthy. Not only that, but also you can write all those things which are there on the worksheet ok no doubt you can use this as a reference but I suggest that you should uh, write your own words answers into your own words so that you can get some more marks but uh, till now I have found that you just copy paste your answers from the worksheet but that is not the thing that uh, this time should happen I hope that you will follow this thing now let us start ok so summary you have on uh, each lesson and each poetry. So in this videos we are going to discuss only the question answer of particular question ok of particular lesson. So here is your first question why Kezia afraid of her father. So Kezia was afraid of her father because he used to talk her harshly he was in a habit of finding out her mistakes. So this, this is how you can write the answer. Second question who were the people in Kezia's family? So Kezia's family had a grandmother, mother and father. Also a uh, so, uh, servant was there, her name was Ellie. You can also add this. Third one, what was Kezia's father's routine before going to office, after coming back from his office and on Sundays? So here is the answer. He used to kiss Kezia casually before going to his office. He would ask for the newspaper and tea after coming back from his office and on Sundays he would take rest, he would enjoy sound sleep on the sofa. So this is the routine of Kezia's father. Fourth number question, in what ways did Kezia's grandmother encourage to get to know her father better? So as you know that the grandmother suggested her to make a gift for the birthday, not only that but uh, have some nice talk with his father with her father. So this is how the grandmother encourages Kezia to be good with her parents. Our next question is Kezia's efforts to please her father resulted in displeasing him very much. How did this happen? So which incident happens that it turned into a very bad incident? So as you know that uh, Kezia has taken okay, Kezia has taken those documents which were very important for the father. and. Uh, when father came to know about this, he became very angry on Kezia. So here is the answer that Kezia used to be afraid of her father because her father talked to her harshly. One day her grandmother told her 
to make a pin cushion to gift him on his birthday, which was approaching. Kezia took it an opportunity to please him. So she stitched cotton cloth three sides and looked for the things that could be stuffed into the stitch cloth. Soon she found out many sheets of paper. Actually, they contained her father's speech for the port authority, and she tore them into pieces and stuffed her case. So this is how Kezia's effort to please her father turned into displeasing him. Okay. And uh, also, you can add this thing that one day her father looked for her paper and he did not find them. And when he came to know about this, he just called it Kezia. Our next question is, Kezia decided that there are different kinds of fathers. What kind of father was Mr. McDonald and how was he different from Kezia's father? So here you have to differentiate the father of Kezia and Mr. McDonald. Okay? So in Kezia's opinion, her father was very harsh did not talk to her affectionately but rather he used to speak her stringently. So she avoided him, she did not want to be in front of him because she was afraid of him. Moreover, her father never spent time with her. McDonald's family lived next door to her house. One evening she saw him playing tag with his children. A baby was on his shoulders and two little girls were hanging on to his coat pockets. They were laughing. Also saw some boys turn the house of McDonald and he tried to catch them laughing and all the time. She founded them feel friendly with their father so she wished if her father were like them. So by seeing Mr. McDonald playing with the children, Kezia also feels like this. Our next question is how does Kezia begin to see her father as a human being who needs her sympathy? So one incident happens when uh, nobody is at home, only the father and Kezia was there. Now you know that Kezia has uh, the very bad uh, uh, nightmares, okay? And uh, she woke up every night from the sleep. So at that uh, night also this Okay, this happened and Kezia sees that when he opens up uh, her eyes, he is, sorry, she is there with her father. And this is the thing which uh, shows us that Kezia feels that uh, her father is also a sympathetic person. Okay, now let us see what is the answer that is here written here. One night Kezia had a nightmare which made her too terrified. She was crying out of a fear. When she woke up, she found her father beside her bed with a candle in his hand. He asked her what the matter was. When he came to know about her nightmare, he blew out the candle, bent down and caught up the child in his arms. He carried her to get the big bedroom. He laid her on the bed and pulled the cover up around her. Apart from this, he lay down beside her. After some time, still half asleep, she crept close to him and uh, snuggled her head under his arms and held tightly to his shirt. Now she felt comfortable. So this is the incident that you can write. You can use your own words also. So this is our lesson number three. Now let us move ahead with lesson number four. So lesson number four, which we recently have completed, talks about the life of Albert Einstein. Okay about uh, we can say that it is talks it talks about the biography of albert einstein who discovered a great theory of relativity so now let us discuss some question answer of this so that you can get some idea that what to write in your question and answer so here is the first question now see i am not taking first two questions this kind of question cannot be asked so directly moving to the third question what did einstein call his desk driver at the patent office why? He called his desk drawer at the patent office the Bureau of Theoretical Physics and the reason is that, that he stole his secret papers on ideas on the physics there. And that's why he called it like this. Our next question is, why did Einstein write a letter to <laughs> Franklin Roosevelt? So as you know that World War was going on he, and he wanted some help. Okay, not only that but it is also a kind of warning. So here is the answer that uh, Einstein feared that Germans under the rule of Nazis had developed an automatic, uh, atomic bomb and could misuse it. 
he wrote to the president of USA to warn him of this development okay and Roosevelt was the pre uh, president of America at that time I am talking about the year 1945 our next question how did Einstein react to the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki now as you know that Hiroshima and Nagasaki both are the two Japanese city on which the atomic bomb attack was done now see what happens the answer is Einstein was deeply shaken by the disaster caused in Hiroshima and Nagasaki he wrote a public message to the United Nations demanding the formation of world government to stop the development of nuclear weapons okay it was his urge that this kind of destruction should not take place again and that's why he urged the United Nations he demanded that the formation of world government should be there so that peace can be prevail all over the world okay that is the answer our next question is why does the world remember Einstein as a world citizen because of his efforts for world peace and non-violence okay that is the answer now seventh question I am not taking it okay so this is your lesson number four see we are just discussing some of the question and answer may be possible that you can be asked any kind of question from the whole lesson whether it is of two mark three mark four mark okay but yes uh, only if you have understood the whole lesson then only you could be uh, you can be able to give the answer so keep in mind that thing that uh, only these questions are not going to be asked but from the whole lesson okay from the whole lesson the questions are going to be asked so read the summary read the explanation okay and everything now let us move ahead with the poem so first of all what to read in poem so in poem do read summary do read the explanation at the same time along with it you also have to read the questions and answers only then you can be able to give the answers of the question now let us start explanation we already have discussed so directly move towards the question and answer okay third poem rain on the roof and here is the first question what does the poet like to do when it rains so here you can use your own words by after reading of the poetry so the answer is like this when it rains the poet likes to lay in a bed and hear the rain falling on the roof of his room okay it means that he likes to listen to raindrops which are falling on the roof second one what is the single major memory that comes to the poet who are the darling dreamers he refers to so the poet has memories of his beloved mother okay and when he was a child she would put him and his siblings to bed and allowed them to sleep till late they had sweet dreams in their sleep darling dreamers refers to the poet and his siblings when they were children and had sweet dreams they were loved by their mother and so were her darlings okay now let us move ahead with the third one is the poet child now is his mother alive no you know that the poet is not a child now but he is a grown up person and his mother is not alive anymore in the memories of his mother he writes this poem okay so only three questions are there any kind of question can be asked so please please don't uh, think that only from these questions the test paper will be there okay yeah this is my request to you do read all the poetry whole poetry and uh, only then you can have some more idea about the poem let us move ahead with our next poem so our next poetry title is the lake of isel in us free it talks about nature not only that but uh, the poet felt that he got bored with the routine life and he wanted some peace of mind that's why he wanted to go that place where one can feel the peace of mind and which is that place what is the name of that place that is the lake isel of in us free if you want to see this place you can google it okay virtual tour you definitely can do it search this thing definitely you can find it in the google on the google so here also you have to read the introduction summary also you have to read and then after explanation also you have to do so that 
you can give proper answer for the proper question now directly let us move ahead with our discussion of question and answer so here is the question what kind of place is in is free so you can write these things uh, where you find that uh, in is free see in the introduction whole thing this poem is a lyric but you can write here that uh, it is a uh, in is free is a place where one can spend a lot of time okay uh, where one can feel the peace of mind you can write so many things here but yes if this kind of question is asked to you that taking into consideration these points you can write these things that uh, the three things that poet wants to do that when he goes to in his free are as follow that he wants to build a small cabin he wants to plant nine rows of beans and he wants to keep the honey bee hive okay uh, at the same time here is the second question what he hears and sees there and its effect on him so in the second stanza you can find this that the poet sees cloudy morning which looks like the sky is wearing the veil okay veil that means je striyo mathe odi ne je pallu rakhe che ne so kevai that is veil okay so it looks like that he hears the song of the cricket he sees the linnet bird flying in the evening sky the shimmering stars in the night sky and the pearlish glow of afternoon sun all this give him a feeling of being peace now let us move ahead with the third one the third question is that what he hears in the heart's core even when he is far away from in his free third stanza in the third stanza you can find the answer and even the poet even when the poet is far away from in his free he hears the sound of the lake water hitting the shore in the depth of his heart okay so this is your answer now our second question by now you may have concluded the inis free in a simple natural place full of beauty and peace how does the poet contrast it with and where he now stands so here is the answer that uh, the poet describes lake inis free as a place full of bounties of nature he sees the cloudy sky shimmering stars in the night sky the polished glow of afternoon sun and the linnet bird flying in the evening sky the sound of the cricket song is also pleasing to him on the other hand the place where he stands now is an urban place which is devoid of all these beauties of nature it means that here contrast is there the place where he wanted to go and the place where right now he is living so you have to uh, make a contrast with both these places okay and that is given in the poetry okay so here is our next question do you think in his free is only a place or state of mind it means whether it is real or unreal and uh, if you think that it is real you have to give your own views okay here you are free to write your own answer so i think that it is not necessary to discuss at all you can write your own ideas look at the words and poet uses to describe what he says not necessary to discuss at all okay but yes do read the all the stanzas so that you can write any kind of answer okay same question is here so not necessary to write now let us move ahead with the discussion of grammatical point so our next topic of discussion is do as directed we already have discussed this sentences in our live classes but again let us discuss so that you can have some more idea first sentence is given to you like this that it was a very old book and you have to make it an exclamatory sentence in order to make exclamatory sentence at last of the sentence you have to put the exclamation mark and you have to start the sentence using what or how when to use what so if in the sentence you can find an article only then you can use what and if no article is given to you in the sentence at that time you can use and how okay so here is your answer that what an old book it was at last exclamation mark is there second sentence assertive you have to make an assertive sentence that means simple sentence positive so here is the sentence that is given to you it is like this they turn the pages which were yellow and crinkly now see a break is there it means two sentences are there so you have to join the sentence by using the conjunction so the answer is this they turn the yellow and crinkly pages very simple okay you have to make it simple sentence assertive means simple sentence okay 
Now third sentence, what a waste, already given into the exclamatory, you have to make it assertive. So it was a great waste, reverse of the first. Second, uh, our next sentence, he pointed without looking because he was busy reading. Now you, you have to use the since. So if you are using since, you have to put it in the beginning of the sentence. So this is how your answer will go. Since he was busy reading, he pointed without looking. So this is your answer. Next one. It is not the little girl's fault. Negative sentence is given to you. You will have to make it affirmative. It means positive. So one thing that you have to keep in mind that the meaning should not be changed. You will have to remove the not from the sentence. So the girl is faultless. The meaning is same. And though we have turned it into the positive sentence. Coming to the next one. She was thinking about their fun. We have to make it complex. Complex that means here also uh, one sentence is given to you. You will have to make two sentences that is called complex. So here is your answer. She was thinking about the fun that they had. Okay. Two uh, made two sentences. The fun. She was thinking about the fun and they had. Okay. So this is how you can make complex sentence. Now next one is please insert yesterday's homework in the proper slot. You have to use would. It means you have to make a question or interrogative sentence by using would. How to make it? So would you please insert yesterday's homework in the proper slot? At last make put an exclamation mark going ahead. Her hearing was severely impaired as a result of gradual nerve damage because of conjunction you have to use here. So the answer is like this because of gradual nerve damage. Her hearing was severely impaired. Going forward, our next sentence, everything suddenly looked black. We have to make it negative. It means that we have to add a not into the sentence and at the same time, the meaning should not be changed. So what is the answer? Suddenly nothing looked black. It means everything suddenly looked black. Okay. Yeah. Our next and last, she never looked back from that point onwards. We have to make it affirmative. So she always looked forward from that point onwards. I hope you understood the whole discussion. Best of luck for your test. One more thing that for another question, you will be given a paragraph and you will have to give the answer of the question after reading of that paragraph. So best of luck for your exam and uh, please sincerely give your test. Okay. Don't copy paste from your worksheets. Hope you understood the whole discussion. We'll meet soon in our live classes. Till then, take care. Thank you and bye.